Every year, more than a million children are involved in an accident in the home. Now we can try and make sure our homes are as safe as possible, but the natural curiosity of children leads them to explore everything that's within their reach. That's why it's so important for parents and carers to get into the habit of making some simple safety checks around the house. Safety gates on the stairs are essential, but they only work if everybody gets into the habit of closing them, including older children. It's important to have smoke alarms fitted, but just as important to regularly test them. It's also good to have established an escape plan, should you ever find yourself in a fire. Electrical appliances, such as hair straighteners, stay hot longer than you think, so make sure you keep them safely out of the reach from those adventurous little hands. And plug socket covers are easy to use and could well prevent your child from a nasty shock. Realistically, we can't watch our children every second of the day and it's not practical or healthy to say no to them all the time. Thankfully, most accidents that happen in the house aren't too serious. However, it's so important to know the correct steps to carry out in case of an emergency. Falling down in a way is perhaps what children do best. You know, it's very easy for them to trip and, and to fall. And of course, not all homes have a first aid kit. So if your child does have a minor bump or a minor injury of whatever type, chances are that some of the household objects that you've got available to you in your home will help you deal effectively with an emergency. To treat small bumps, apply ice wrapped in a tea towel or a packet of frozen vegetables directly to the injury site. Remember, never apply ice directly to a child's skin. If this causes your child distress, a cold flannel can be used instead. For all head injuries, especially if your child was knocked out, even briefly, seek medical advice. Babies and children's bones are still developing and are quite soft, which means that they often bend rather than break. Fractures are difficult to diagnose, so seek medical attention if you are in any doubt. To enable a child to explore without compromising safety, parents should childproof their homes and remember to do safety checks. While most accidents require nothing more than a kiss or a cuddle, it's worth remembering that a quarter of parents have had to administer first aid to a child under the age of three. So it's important to learn first aid and to actually know what to do in an emergency. Hopefully you will never find yourself in a situation like this, but if you do find yourself in a position where you have to respond to an emergency situation, then these simple safety tips from the Tesco Baby and Toddler Club Baby Safe campaign could really help and even save a life. For more information about first aid training, visit redcrossfirstaidtraining.co.uk.